the 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony with the Anchorage School District and Highland Academy. As the principal of Highland Academy Charter School, it is my great honor to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. I'd like to extend a special welcome to all Highland stakeholders, including alumni and their families, and our current learning community. It is our privilege to also share this ceremony with the entire world during these unprecedented times. All graduates of Highland Academy Charter School have a strong scholarship grounded in growth mindset. They have had personal, social, and service learning opportunities that have shaped their citizenship. They have empathy, conflict resolution, and organizational skills that will promote and strengthen leadership in all aspects of their lives. Our alumni know what it takes. Our teachers know what it takes. And now, class of 2020, you know what it takes. Not only have you each met the rigorous standards in language arts, mathematics, science, and social environments, and are more than ready to embrace post-secondary ac academic learning opportunities, you are ready to lead your future. You know how to gracefully accept challenges you are faced with. If you ask a Highland graduate to plan a service learning event, identify a variety of issues, views on an issue, find solutions to large-scale problems, lead a team builder with a group of peers, or to discuss the ramifications of peer pressure, I encourage you to stand back and watch it happen. These graduates know how to collaborate and communicate effectively. They can articulate the relevance of community and culture in their lives, and they have mastered skills that are essential for success in the 21st century. They are ready. One of the most unique graduation requirements of Highland Academy asks students to reflect on themselves as learners and members of their community. Each one of these graduates has presented to a panel of peers, teachers, and administrators, sharing their triumphs and struggles, personal and academic growth, as well as their goals for the future. They have been asked questions that require reflection and introspection about the roles they fill as a Highland Phoenix, leadership, leadership citizenship, and scholarship. It has been an incredible experience for me to watch these students grow into the young adults that stand before you today. Whether I've known them for two years or been a part of their journey for the last seven, each and every one of them has had an impact on who I am as an educator and a person. From their experiences, I take lessons in perseverance, balance, and friendship. They have shown what it takes to face a roadblock head on, overcoming the struggles and challenges to achieve their goals. I'm reminded how important it is to take care of myself, to enjoy each and every moment and to find what truly makes me happy. And lastly, they've shown us the importance of surrounding ourselves with people that care, people that support you, and people that want the absolute best for you. Thank you for choosing Highland. I look forward to seeing where life takes you next. We are very proud of you. In some ways, this speech was one of the hardest assignments I've ever had. I started writing it at the very beginning of the year. I envisioned giving it in front of my family and friends at the podium as my classmates sit behind me trusting me to represent them through my words. However, as this huge life event that we've all been forced to live through started to worsen, I realized this speech would be no easy task. It wouldn't be how I envisioned it. I would have to give the speech to a camera. Not only am I put in the position of praising the class of 2020 for passing a huge milestone in their lives, but also adapting to an indefinite life-changing circumstance. So here we go with the obligatory congratulations class of 2020. To say that we've worked hard for this would be the understatement of the century. To have the drive and grit to push through and finish this year, even through our nihilistic breakdowns and questionable haircuts is something I applaud each and every one of us for. Not only was Highland Academy's class of 2020 put in this position, but this has been a global experience. Maybe that's what makes it unique. May this entire experience be the greatest teacher of the importance of adaptability. May this just be a huge example of how inconsistent, wavering, and unruly life really can be, and how stabilizing and grounding human connection is. Maybe we all needed to be humbled to have the wisdom to accept the things that we can't change and don't have control of. I think there definitely was a moment in this entire situation where I just shut down and logged off. 
not only do I already struggle with isolating myself from others when I'm feeling low, but quarantining and social dis distancing really breeds and enables that kind of isolation. This is why it's so important to have a good support system and really lean into the assistance of family and friends, but also being the backing for them as well. Maybe this was the universe reminding us of all of that. I feel like dealing with this entire pandemic has really prepared us for any roadblock ahead. Any breakup or bad hair day will feel like a picnic. Who knows what the future may hold though. Maybe a bad hair day won't matter in the next six months. I do know one thing in the future we will have the advantage and honor to experience though. When we get asked where we were in the middle of a global pandemic, we get to say we were completing a huge stepping stone in our lives and had the resilience to graduate high school in the midst of chaos. That counts for something. As much as I would love to go on about how important that kind of resilience is, I wanna close with this. This entire year is something that we should all be beyond proud of ourselves for completing. Not just the class of 2020, but our parents, teachers, administrators, friends, coaches, mentors. We all had the courage to adapt to the confusion and havoc that has been thrown at us within the past few months. The statistics, the uncertainty, the questionable politicians are all something this entire community has experienced. However, the fact that we are experiencing it together makes the madness a little bit more bearable, at least for me. This community is something that I am beyond proud of, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for each and every graduate of Highland Academy's class of 2020. Congratulations and thank you. We made it. All those sleepless nights, suspiciously fast approaching deadlines, and catastrophic migraines have finally brought us here to the first of many finish lines. While many of us probably won't contact each other again, Highland Academy has given us special opportunities to create memorable experiences that will stay with us through the many years to come. Who could ever forget the wildly competitive game of UNO or the unbearable suspense that gripped all of us as we waited for the winners of the MIT to be announced? And certainly nobody could forget the awesome field day at the end of every year, a day filled with wayward frisbees, remote control cars, endless laughter, sudden fence manifestations, and so much more. I would like to take a moment to appreciate the dedication and resilience of our families and staff members. Throughout our academic paths, they have been there to ensure that we did our best on assignments, even if we had no clue what we were supposed to do. They encouraged us to practice self-care as we labored over one more paragraph and one more math problem. Thank you for being there when we needed you the most. While we make our slow progression into adulthood, there's one thing I would like us to keep in mind. Success is relative. Success can be defined as perfect grades, finding the love of your life, finally getting your dream job, or even living for life experiences and not for material possessions. The possibilities are truly endless. I challenge all of you to take the journey to discover what it means to you to feel successful and satisfied in life. However you define success, I hope you pave the path of a life you will never regret. As our time at Highland Academy comes to a close, I hope we all reminisce on the good times we shared and that we look ahead with hope in our hearts for a bright future. Next, it is my honor to recognize three students who have earned the highest grade point averages over the course of their high school careers. Please join me in congratulating this year's salutatorians. For the second highest grade point average in the graduating class, Carter Kanar and Caden. The honor of valedictorian given for the highest grade point average in the graduating class goes to Aiden Jackson. Aiden went above and beyond in every standard, in every level, and in every content area and her hard work has paid off. Congratulations. The Phoenix Award is given to one student who best exemplifies all that we hope a Highland graduate will be. They demonstrate through words and deeds three attributes we value above all others, citizenship, scholarship, and leadership. A Phoenix is a model citizen. They live our core values of respect for all and they hold others accountable to live them as well. A Phoenix is a lifelong learner. They take charge of their learning, they challenge the status quo, and they desire to go above and beyond in the pursuit of knowledge. A growth mindset prevails over fixed mindsets. 
Empathy is not only understood, but is exhibited in times when it is the most difficult. Finally, a phoenix is a leader. They accept the responsibility of helping others, of modeling core values, and stepping up when others step back. I can sincerely say that every member of the class of 2020 has exhibited these values throughout their education at Highland. Many stepped up to lead during tenuous times. They have committed to participate in school events and help those who needed reminders about a, what a culture of respect truly means. Our Phoenix Award recipient this year is a student with many strengths. He has risen to the real world design challenge three years in a row and has represented his school, his city, his state, and even his country in the national real world design competition. He also rose to the challenge of Model United Nations for two years. Our Phoenix Award recipient has been a student representative on Highland Academy's Academic Policy Committee, our governing board. He has been involved in critical decisions about our school and has offered his insight, thoughtful questions, and has been committed to continuous improvement efforts. This student has many hobbies. He has inspired his peers with his straightforward and practical approach to challenges. Often found with a smile on his face, an optimistic comment, and a unique solution to a problem, the 2020 Phoenix Award recipient pushes himself and inspires others to do more than they thought was possible. And he has done all this and met his graduation requirements as a junior. Please join me in congratulating Carter Kanar. It is my honor to represent you, class of 2020. Wherever you are, you may now turn your tassels. Congratulations, we made it.